Welcome back to another YouTube video with the YouTuber Sailor y 2 k and in today's video I'm going to be going through every single one of my sketchbooks from high school so far. I have a lot more from elementary and middle school but unfortunately I don't have them anymore. But yeah, let's begin. Alright, so don't mind my nails, I just painted them and they're kind of messy but this is my sketchbook from 9th grade and I'm going to start it here. It's a mixed media sketchbook. I drew a lot of Kirby stuff here. This is Kirby um, and I was really big into anime. I still am but you know here I would draw like in an anime art style, I would draw lots of Kirby, lots of Adventure Time. In this sketchbook you'll find lots of fan art, so here you have like Mario and stuff, and, like some anime fan art. I was really big into Princess Peach and stuff and I, this is when I started using uh, references from Pinterest. And I was really into Sailor Moon, I also draw, drew her a lot as well as the Super Mario Princesses. This is a, something that a classmate gave me. Um, and then this is going to be a, kind of a hearty video, like a long video, so I'm gonna try to get through these sort of fast, but um, here we have some more like my melody and like anime stuff, like I said. Um, and then, yeah, so basically in these sketchbooks, I did do lots of references. Um, that's like primarily what I do. You'll find that in these sketchbooks, I draw lots of things using references because I love using references. It gives me so much motivation to draw and it really just helps me get creative. So this is when I started using more color, like making more landscape pictures. And this is a study that I did of my parents' room actually. Um, and then I drew some art goals, but I ended up scribbling it out because I guess I didn't like it. But then I did some post work. Um, this was a LOL surprise doll that I saw at the store and I thought it was so adorable. So I drew her and I still have the doll, but I actually painted over her. Cause I'm silly and then this is actually really pretty I drew that during school like during PE um, and then this like full picture I did with a bunch of color um, and then I drew Amy Rose from Sonic the Hedgehog because I've always been a big fan of Sonic ever since I was younger and then this is like some weird vent thing I drew this at school um, and then this, I did a lot of these things upside down. That's something that you'll also notice from my sketchbooks that when I draw, I do this sort of thing where I'll like have it upside down or just in like different areas, like upside down or backwards. And then some more things. This is when I got a watercolor palette. This is when I started sticking things into my sketchbook. So these are like chocolate wrappers. And then this is a picture of the OC that I used at this time. Um, and then I have a list of things that I wanted to practice. Okay, so I switched locations, but this is Lucy Lu, um, Lucy from Elf and Lied. Um, these are some different facial expressions, some eyes. These are some um, wings, a cat with like a weirdly proportioned head. Um, just some more studies. I tried to draw with alcohol-based markers. Um, I did that a lot in middle school. This is something that my mom drew in my sketchbook. It's like a little um, a cat with a frog hat. And then this, this cat with a piece of toast for a hat. Um, and then I have this like dragon thing. I think this is really interesting. Um, oh my goodness. So this is like some vent thing I hear, but here I have Honey Senpai from Orin High School Host Club. This is Lucy from Elf and Line. Oh my goodness, this lamp. Okay, so then I have my OCs. I, this is the time where I had lots of OCs. I had lots of original characters and that's because I really liked writing stories during this time and I had a few select ones. This was one of the OCs I have. I had, this is one of the OCs I had. I don't draw her anymore. Her name was like Ivy or something or like Oak, something along the sorts, but this is the end of the sketchbook and I'll be getting into the next one. Um, this sketchbook took me about a month or so to complete and I remember I really enjoyed working in this as I do all of my sketchbooks, but let's get into my next sketchbook. So this is my second sketchbook. I got this at Hobby Lobby and this is a sketchbook that actually took me eight days to finish. So I have my goals here, literally eight days. This is my second sketchbook. Um, learn how to draw backgrounds, anime hair, and how to shade. Um, here we have some Pokemon and some watercolor things. Um, we have Finn the Human. I used the Pinterest reference, of course. Um, what are these? For, um, the characters from Gumball. This is Lucy from Elf and Lied. This is Princess Peach. This is Chibiusa from Sailor Moon. Like I said, I was very into Sailor Moon at this time. Hatsune Miku. Um, and then some anatomy studies as well as some school drawings that I put in here. Sailor Moon. 
Um, here we have my original characters. This was Koa, and then I think this, her name was Oak, and then this is Honey Senpai from Orin High School Club. These are some anatomy studies for legs and stuff, because I remember during this time I would draw a lot of um, anatomy studies, and then some My Little Pony things, because again, always liked My Little Pony, even at, you know, 17. It's, it's a really cute show. Um, and then I have some art studies for eyes and stuff, and then like pie, that's cute. Um, I remember I would post a lot on TikTok. I used to have a TikTok account where I posted all of this stuff and it actually had like over like 2000 in, in like less than a few months. And I actually don't have that account anymore, which is kind of sad, but you know, I have a new one. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, it's SailorY2K, just like my YouTube. Um, and then I did this thing where I started sticking in random stuff into my sketchbook. Like any wrapper that anybody had, I'd ask for it and I'd like put it in my sketchbook. Um, just because I wanted to have some sort of volume. This is some more studies. This is my OC Koa, retired her. Um, and then some like anime stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, I was really big into making stories because I thought they were really interesting. I actually didn't really read that many stories. Um, but these are my three main OCs. This is Koa, Oak, and Ivy, or Ivory. Um, and then some like more random stuff here. Um, and then yeah, this was the little thing for my old YouTube and my old sketchbook tour. Um, but I don't have it anymore. The account is long gone. Some more original character stuff. This is really cute. I really like this picture. I think that's adorable. And then I had this OC. Um, this is another OC thing. It was like for my story or whatever. I was like, I was 15. Um, and then I drew this on my phone and I put it into my sketchbook. Um, and then there's this picture of Rosalina from Mario. Um, and then we have this girl at the beach. Cause this was like, this sketchbook was during, I made this whole thing during the summer. Like I finished this entire sketchbook in just eight days. So that's, and then this anime girl. Um, and then some more, like, I was practicing how to color hair. This sketchbook is, like, it's not the best, but, you know, I did draw in it a lot. Um, it's just, like, a, a lot of, like, spam. Like, I was just spamming my art in here. Um, it's definitely not one of my best. This is a comic from a comic, A Kill, and this is Lucy from Elf and Lied, but upside down. Um, but like I said, definitely not one of my favorite, um, sketchbooks. It's definitely, like, just, it's like an art dump. Like, I just draw for no reason. This is, like, vent art, and then this is, like... Like I said, I'd ask people for like rappers and stuff and I just put it in there. Um, and then this is my OCs hanging out. And then another original character I made. Um, and then there's this other OC. I had a lot of original characters at this time. Like I was, I was a uh, very into making stories. So yeah. And then this is, um, I think her name is Kitagawa from, um, what's her name? Uh, my Dress Up Darling. I really liked that anime. That was a very enjoyable anime. Um, and then we have some more Sailor Moon stuff. I, like I said, putting rappers in here because I thought it was so like aesthetically pleasing. Hatsune Miku and Sailor Moon. I think this is really cute. Like this is like so evident of the time that I made it. Like 15 year old me. That's so cute. Anyways, so just Pusheen. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So there's this picture of Sailor Moon. And then here we have Hatsune Miku and Vanilla Bivon Sweets for Mercury Ralph. And then um and then here we have the end page. This is something that I as like a tradition that I started with my first sketchbook. Every end of the page I'll do like the end. So there's that. Let's get into the next sketchbook, y'all. All right, y'all, this is my third sketchbook. I got this one from Walmart. Um, let's dive in. So here we have sketchbook number three. Um, I don't have the day I started this, but I have Princess Peach. Um, there's like a lot of vent art in here because you know, I was I was a wee little kid. Well, I'm, it was only like two years ago, three years ago. So, you know, it's, it wasn't that long ago, but this is um, just a lot of anime stuff, a lot of Hatsune Miku. We have Gur. I don't even know what way is the right way because I would always like do the drawings backwards and um, upside down and all that good stuff. Amy Rose um, and then Princess Peach. That's like a common theme that I see. So this is Koa, my other OC. And then I drew a, oh Lord. Um, I drew a cat girl. It's a canon event, guys. It's a canon event. Um, but then I drew this. 
And then we have Hatsune Miku and um, the other Hatsune Miku. And then we have, again, with the sticking random wrappers into the book, um, we have the Sonic characters. Why is there so much like candy wrappers in here? Like that's actually crazy. Okay, so then we have um, Hello Kitty um, and then Rosalina. And then I'm just gonna skim through this y'all because I think y'all like, y'all have eyes. Y'all can clearly see what I'm showing you. Um, but yeah, like again, like I said, this this sketchbook was this was pretty mid sketchbook. I'm not even gonna lie. Like my sketchbooks start getting good after the age of like 16. Like when I six when I turned 16, that was like when my sketchbook started to like get good. And then like 17, oh my gosh, amazing. My art was so my art is so good. Like at 17, I'm still 17 right now. But we have um, Princess Peach, Daisy, and um, Rosalina at the beach. Um, Skull Girls. I actually never played that game, but I did really like the art style. I thought it was really cool. Um, Wendy from Gravity Falls. I think she's really cool. Um, more stuff here. Anatomy practice. Um, random stuff I drew on a separate piece of paper and put it in my sketchbook. Um, try not to turn the page, y'all. Um, and then this is when I watched the anime Clanid. Um, also, don't mind my nails, please. Like, I just noticed that like the top coat that I put on is like kind of peeling, but it's okay. It's okay. It's like an artist moment. This is Fuko Ibuki from Clanid. But like I said, this is like some pretty mid stuff. I can't wait to like get into my other art. Um, but this is Pinkie Pie. Like I said, big fan of My Little Pony. Um, whoa. The thing I didn't like about this sketchbook is that it's like you can take out all the pages it was like kind of annoying to work with. I didn't really like working in all of this. This is another OC I made because uh, again, I had to make 10 billion original characters because I'm so silly. Um, and then we have Nana from the anime Nana and a Coca-Cola logo because I thought it would fit her. And then this is Hatsune Miku from um, Project Diva. And then this is the end. It's Misa Amane holding, holding a Diet Coke because that's so aesthetic. But yeah, this is the end page for this sketchbook. Let's get into the next one. All right, y'all. So this is my fourth sketchbook. I was actually surprised <clears throat> when I saw this was my fourth sketchbook. But this is the one that got, like, the most views. Like, I had posted this on my old channel. It got 11,000 views. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that channel anymore. But it's okay. I have this one now. But yeah, lots of fruit stickers. I think these are really cute. Um, Diet Coke. Diet Sprite. Diet Coke again. Um, and then we have Draculaura holding Karomi. Um, this is one of my most colorful sketchbooks. I would remember being so proud of this one at the time, emo art style. The reason I was so proud of this one is just simply because of how colorful it is, but also because this is the one that has gone- Okay, okay, why- Okay, anyways. Um, um, okay. So this Steve from, um, Stranger Things. This was when I started watching Stranger Things, y'all, and I was a very big Eddie Munson fan. Um... I loved Eddie Munson, y'all. And then we have Sally Face, Sal Fisher, some emo girl with my chemical romance lyrics because I'm so silly. Um, and then we have Eddie Munson again. And then, um, yeah, I'm not gonna elaborate. Um, and then we have Steve Harrington and then um, more Eddie Munson, y'all. Um, this is from Rosario Vampire. It's an anime that I watched. I watched both of the seasons. I watched all of it. It's if you if you know what that anime is, it's very odd, but you know, more, more. Okay, I was so proud of this one, y'all. I was like actually so proud. I was like actually like oh my gosh, like I'm literally the next Picasso. But yeah, I really like this one. But looking back at it now, like I could do this like ten times better. Um, I should do that. I should do a video of like me recreating my old stuff. This is Larry Johnson and Eddie Munson. Um. I feel like Eddie Munson caused me to have like a bit of an emo phase because I, I had an emo phase in like middle school and like elementary school, but like Eddie Munson really kind of brought that back. But um, we have this um, Eddie Munson, Nana Osaki. Um, and we have this. And then we have um, this was actually trying to copy another artist, like, but I did credit them, so I'm not a, I'm, I ain't no thief. So here's Rotten Mute. I really like their art. And then the Sour Patch logo. Um, this, this is another OC that I tried to make, um, this anime girl, thought that was cool, um, and then we have this, 
this anime girl. I actually don't know what this is from, but I was really proud of this one as well. There's some more anatomy. I didn't know how to draw guys, so I tried to do an anatomy study again. These are from My Little Pony and Equestria Girls because that was one of the best movies to me as a kid. Um, and we have Hello Kitty. And then this is Millie from Hell of a Boss. And oh my goodness, I loved Hell of a Boss when I was like 16. I think, I, no, I wasn't even 16 yet. No, I was still 15 when I made all of this. And then this is an icy. Um, and then here we have Frankie Stein from Monster High. Millie and Moxie from uh, Hell of a Boss. But um, we have Stan, or no, Kyle from south park i also watched a lot of south park um jack from animal crossing this random girl from pinterest um steven universe art um this is twilight sparkle and rainbow dash in their um fall formal outfits i think that's what it was called it was like a fall formal and then this is um peanut big top from uh Lil lala loopsie um and then we have moxie um, and then we have like some, this is when the, the sketchbook started to go, like get kind of lazy. I was kind of like lazy and trying to finish it. Um, but I would just like draw anything here, really anything. Like it was, this is when I caught like kind of mid, but I'm just going to rush through it. Um, this was like a, um, in-person study. Um, but yeah, then we have the end. So this is the end page that I had for this sketchbook. I think this is really cute. Um, but yeah, this is one of the nicest sketchbooks I have. Let's go on to the next one. Y'all, um, so this is my fifth sketchbook. This is when I caught kind of like, like edgy. I painted the cover black and had like these like edgy little stickers on it. Um, this was like during Halloween. Um, then we have some like sparkly Halloween stickers. We have some anime eyes. This is when I turned 16. So that means everything that I just drew, I was 15, wow. Um, so we have this. So I drew this on my 16th birthday and I actually made it a tradition. I'm gonna, you're gonna see my other one for 17 later, but um, yeah. This is when I started watching Monster High. I was really big into Monster High during this time. I actually like, I was so obsessed with Monster High. Um, so I feel like that's what this theme in the sketchbook sort of came from. This like Halloween-y theme. Um, we have Cooking Mama and then Draculaura. And as you can see from my art, I really like anything that has to do with nostalgia. I love it. And then this is like a goth lady. Um, but yeah, these are like some cute puffy stickers of pandas and stuff. This is super cute. I remember this is from like a YouTube uh, Instagram user, but um, made this at a sleepover. I've had so many like sketchbook tours and it's actually so sad. Like I have a whole playlist of sketchbook tours on my YouTube. This tour from Ed's World and like a juggalo, Larry Johnson. But yeah, like I was saying, like I have a huge amount of... Um, sketchbook tours on my page but they were the videos that i made when i first started my account <clears throat> so they don't have that they're like kind of like all of my sketchbook tours are like at the very base of my channel so you're gonna have to do some like uh scrolling i saw these at dollar tree these shopkin stickers were at dollar tree and i was so livid when i saw that like i was actually like screaming and jumping up and down like i was so excited because these were the shopkins that i grew up with like the very first shopkins um the very, very first Shopkins that were ever made, and I was so happy because those are the ones that I grew up with. Um, and then this is, um, I forgot their names, but they're from Splatoon. I used to love Splatoon when I was younger. I tried to make like a My Little Pony OC because I used to do that a lot when I was younger and I wanted to try something out again. Um, but then I did a comic with them. Um, this is Red Guy from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. I, again, another thing that I was really into when I was younger, Toy Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is crazy. This is some craziness. Um, we have <laughs> Fluttershy from My Little Pony. And then we have this like emo looking thing um, with some lyrics on it. Um, this is like some more stuff. Um, some Splatoon. This thing. It, I'm not going to open it, but it's like a character sheet for an OC. Uh, not more character sheets for OCs. I'm, again, I'm not going to open. I made like this comic thing. It's like pretty goofy, but like it's like... I made some OCs. <laughs> this is kind of goofy, but it's so cute. Um, anyways, so this is the last page of the sketchbook, um, the end. Um, yeah, um, I actually don't know how long this took me, but I'm pretty sure that it looked, took me like um, no longer than two months. But yeah, that's the end of the sketchbook. Let's get on to my next one. Okay, this is sketchbook six, and I'm actually like really excited. Um, lots of stickers here. Um, here you have like different things here. Um, 
art goals and like just more random stuff this is like when i started getting into bigger sketchbooks um more ocs this is when i introduced my new ocs like i had keith and stuff this is curtis connor i was watching curtis connor um this is a really cute sketchbook again draculaura um different art stuff again like i feel like um like some of the interests that i like still will stay like for example like sonic nintendo anything that's nostalgia like i just keep it like it's like different but it's the same i don't know if that makes sense but this is what i started getting into like more halloween -y stuff and monster high this is really cute i really like this picture um draculaura um this is like yeah i think this was like during october like this is halloween um butter lover was an animation i saw on youtube these are some characters that i liked at the time um yeah but my ocs definitely did change like i had a whole new story and like i feel like i have new ocs like every few um months and i feel like that's simply because i don't know like i get bored of the story that i have and i don't want to do it anymore um but i might revive some of my old ocs but i don't like to do that that much like i don't revive old ocs i just make new ones because i'd rather just have like a fresh start if that makes any sense but here's some more little doodles this is when i started using colors and stuff um oh um this is a comic from a comic got killed this is when i was reading the comic got killed zero manga um some more stuff like hasune miku vocaloid and then this is luca and then the end because i actually was like kind of frustrated in working with this because if you notice that all of my other sketchbooks are like a lot smaller and some like bigger so i didn't really want to work in it anymore so i just cut it short but that is sketchbook six and i am going through these fast because i know that this is going to be quite the long video i have like 14 sketchbooks right now all right y'all this is a sketchbook that i really really liked and i like this one because it's really colorful and i think the like just the amount of effort i put into this one is really cute um so this is really adorable i like this um lots of color lots of anime stuff there's like color on every single one of these pages like i hope y'all really see how pretty this is because this is definitely one of my favorites um so i know i've been flipping through these like really fast but here's some like this luca and then there's like another oc i made um i will do some talking about my ocs now um this is a character I copied this from um, this like character. I think her name's Cheruka. I was really big into Cheruka at this time. And then these are my um, child, ooh, childhood Lilo's pet shops. And I made them in like, put in cute outfits. Um, yes, y'all. Lots of studies. This is from a manga that I had read. A manga about, um, oh no, it was just a comic kill. Um, like I said, if you know what that anime is, then you'll know what I'm talking about, but I did some male anatomy studies because I don't really know how to draw men that well. Well, I didn't. Now I can draw men pretty all right. Um, Spy X Family as an anime I watched during this time. Um, Monster High. Um, what's her name? Princess Cadence. Um, this guy from Little Shop of Horrors. Um, some like studies and stuff. Y'all, this is like actually one of my favorite sketchbooks. This is when I watched Elvira. Like this, that was my time to watch Elvira. And then I have Lasagna, cause oh my gosh, guys, Lasagna is so good. And then we have this. Um, and we have Vic Fuentes from Pierce the Veil. And this is Brendan Urie, or I, it's either, <laughs> it's either the Onceler or it's, it's either the, or Brendan Urie from Panic at the Disco. That's like very funny to me. Um, that's like very like internet like but whatever so we have this girl with green hair and then this like landscape um and then we have some things i cover a lot of this stuff that i don't want to show with sticky notes so um more things over here y'all i'm oh my gosh i did a sketch i did a oc tour this is gerard way from my chemical romance guys i grew up listening to my chemical romance um luffy this is when i started reading one piece i started off with um reading the manga but yeah and he's eating this like mexican like um thing i'm not even mexican but um but then there's this um we have pocky and these cars <clears throat> and then we have another car and then this this is really cute i really like the sketchbook everything will be okay and cursive and then we have this guy from bleach i think this is really cool and i do like the m&ms they're like they look really cool i like the way that i colored it um and then we have this 
some like anime stuff and then um I tried to draw this one other art style. I thought it was really cool. Um, I didn't like this, so I covered it up. A cat with like a bright yellow uh, background. And then we have this like landscape because I noticed I didn't draw that much landscapes. Um, here we have Mob Psycho and then some like other little doodles up here. I don't remember her name, but she's from Lucky Star. Um, yeah, so here we have Zoro from One Piece and then this guy I found on Pinterest. And then we have some like Pierce the Veil lyrics. Um, yeah, and then we have like a Roblox character. Um, here we have um, Tony Chopper from One Piece, and then we have Totoro, and then we have another character from Mario. Um, being a nerd is so fun, y'all. Like, okay, here we have Luffy from One Piece, and then we have The Smiths. I love listening to The Smiths. I heard he was like, he did some like problematic stuff, I, but I actually don't even know about it. Like, but I just, I just know I like the songs. But here we have this lady holding a rose. Um, we have Sanji from One Piece. I'm still watching One Piece. It's like incredibly long. Um, but here we have this like Jester. This is like not my original character, but um, it's like a doll that I colored. And then this, I covered it up, didn't like it. Um, I was listening to Wolf in Sheep's Clothing by, oh, who, is, who is it? Like Set It Off, I think? I, I don't know. A pumpkin bear from um, Build-A-Bear Workshop. I want one of them because they're so cute still to this day. Um, I drew a brain. Um, I thought this was, this is really cool. Um, we have a balloon animal, an Eminem, Melanie Martinez, uh, Amy Rose from Sonic. Um, we have some more stuff. Um, here we have a balloon animal, and then we have a Littlest Pet Shop. Um, and then we have this Toki, Toki Doki. And then we have this guy with like piercings. He looks very interesting. Um, we have this, oh my goodness, the sketchbook almost fell. Um, we have this guy. I found this reference on Pinterest. This like, um, I don't know, like a lamp. Um, this girl, I was in, I was rewatching the anime Nana at this time. So I drew Nana and then I drew some like lipstick and chocolates and then I drew this girl. Um, this was quite at the time. This was quite the time, y'all. I was listening to a lot of Tupac at this time. Like, I was listening to a lot of Tupac. Um, and then here we have the end page for this sketchbook. I finished it January 27, 2023. So, wow. I can visibly see how much my art is improving, like, going through all of these sketchbooks. But I think this is really cute. Um, I really like it. I love all the colors that I use. But let's go on to the next one. Okay, so I actually did this weird thing where I had this like mini sketchbook that was only like a few pages long, but I'm gonna go through this one as well. This is sketchbook 7.5 um, because it isn't a complete sketchbook, um, but I have a bunch of anime stickers and this one has to be one of my favorites simply because of the way that it's decorated and how much color I used in it. So, oh my goodness, oops. So upon entering, we have some goals um, and then we have these Nana stickers and then some more anime stickers. I think this is really cute. I love decorating sketchbooks, but here we have some this. I don't know how I'm gonna make the thumbnail for this video. I'm probably just gonna be like holding all of my sketchbooks. Um, but yeah, like it was a lot. This is when I watched Chobits. Um, so here's um, Chi from Chobits. If you don't know what that anime is, it's so good. Um, it was kind of weird actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it was weird. Um, but then we have Watermelon and then The Smiths. Um, and then we have Chi from Chobits. Um, we have this girl. Uh, a cemetery because edginess and we have this full picture um and then we have this girl from lucky star and then this girl and then this is actually a figure i actually don't know where she's from but um she's like a tomato girl i thought it was really cute um then we have this i actually drew this at school i remember drawing a lot of these at school this is spider-man um Yeah, and then I did like a, a surrounding study. Um, some like stuff here, this, and this is the end. But now I'm gonna get into my eighth sketchbook. So this is sketchbook number eight and I have my things to draw. This is one of my Mm, one of my most interesting sketchbooks because I did like do like a style shift at this time I feel like it was a lot less colorful and I started focusing more on doing like realism here So here we have Sonic my first colored thing of this sketchbook 
well there was like a piggy pie at the beginning but this is when i got more into sonic the hedgehog so here we have the my most favorite picture from here ice spice because when she was like trying to get popular um i'm not a ice spice fan we have Nicki minaj um and then we have um rouge the back because i felt like their vibes kind of like went together amy rose um this song before it got like popular on tiktok i'm not even gonna lie y'all um and then we have so the sonic characters because again big into sonic um more stuff here y'all this is applejack as a human i thought it was really cute um this was like some student like next to me had like brought their sprite so i drew the sprite um we have guts from berserk and then we have some anim um studies here this is when i was watching um breaking bad um chica and bonnie from finance freddy's this weird like skull thing i drew this in class um, we have some Super Smash Brothers characters. Um, and then we have this um, Happy Sugar Life. Um, it was from a manga I read during this time. Some stuff I copied from Pinterest. Um, this is uh, Midori from Keke Grui, the gambling anime, a muffin. Um, like horror anime. I was really big into like horror manga at this time. Um, we have some like really detailed like apples. This is really good. Like I really like this. Um, then we have like this like uh cyborg robot girl and then this is parappa the rapper some more stuff here this is from um whatchamacallit i think it's card card captor sakura but this one's like really good i really like it um some more anime stuff this is during summer i was listening to a lot of sublime so i drew myself as like <laughs> sort of like hippie inspired i'm not even gonna say hippie but like you know just a little bit inspired by that um we have some like anime stuff maddie from euphoria um this is really good i really like this i think it looks cool um and then we have um a deer and then this like punk guy um this uh deer we have a cat i'm my phone actually died in the middle of recording this but um we have some more anime stuff this was like some um person on um tiktok's like little <clears throat> character but they made like characters for each country and I thought that was really cute. So I'm Cuban, so I wanted to make one. Um, here we have an OC that I made. I never named him. <clears throat> here we have Tyler the Creator. Um, we have some like more, this is like my old, um, ooh, my old uh, profile picture for this account. We have, um, this is supposed to be Markiplier, but it doesn't really look like him. Cadence, My Little Pony. This is really cute. I drew myself. Um, um, me slaying my old character because I didn't like her. Um, <clears throat> Princess Peach. And then I actually put lipstick on the page. I think that's super cute. I might redo that, y'all. Like, mm -hmm, like, I really should. Um, we have Doja Cat in her Juicy Music video because I actually really like the outfit. Like, I always love the way she looks. Like, I always think she's so pretty. And then we have this, like, childhood candy I have. Like, some Hispanic candy thing. Always drawing things that are nostalgic, y'all. Um, this is Savannah Reed as a human from um, LPS Popular. Um, yeah, well, some just random stuff here. And this is the end of the sketchbook. Sketchbook 8 with My Sweet Piano. And then that's sketchbook 8. Let's get to the next one. Oh, I, I don't even think I put like a the start of this. Like, okay, this is, this is sketchbook 8. And this is the cover. I think this is one of my favorite sketchbook colors, covers. Okay, who we have sketchbook nine? It's pink and it has a red lace, y'all. So I started it off by putting a bunch of fruit stuff in here. And then we have a picture of my cousin's dog. Um, <clears throat> a comic I made from a song I like, which is Miss Murder with Affy. I made the cover. I was going to make like an animatic for that, but I never got down to it. Never finished it. We have Princess Peach and Toad. This is when I saw the Mario movie, Lala Loopsies. I got this from um, uh, Pinterest. Uh, strawberry shortcake this is um from pillow priscus an artist that i like um this character from um i actually don't remember hoshinoko um some more stuff here i actually like don't really know what to say y'all like actually this is during the summertime you know i was it was a fun time i'd go to the library pretty frequently um, we have Bonnie the bunny, um, and then we have Princess Peach, um, self-care, core, Haruhi from that one anime. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I had to clear my throat. And then we have, um, this mute when I was getting SI. I do not have pink hair, 
but I drew myself, or I don't even think that's myself. I think it's like an OC. <clears throat> um, this is when I started listening to Tokyo Hotel. This is Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park, The Cuban Flag. Um, yeah, so we have Tom Kalitz. This one's so, this one's literally so good. Like it actually looks like a picture. Um, and then we have another Tom Kalitz, Bill Kalitz. If you know Tokyo Hotel, then leave me a comment because I don't know that many people in real life who know Tokyo Hotel, some more stuff. Um, and we have some more things here. This is so interesting, 2000s. Um, this is not my art. This is like another person's art, um, but this is Vizzy, my old OC from middle school. Um, and then this, I did a video where I was like redrawing my old um, OCs for middle school. Um, this is another like candy brand from when I was younger. Um, Miffy the Bunny, this is a creeper that is a Little's Pet Shop because I also grew up with Little's Pet Shop. Spooky from On My Block. I watched this one in the summer. I loved it. Um, we have Pitbull for some reason. Um, the 4th of July, I didn't do anything for, for the 4th of July last year, so I drew this instead. Um, here we have some like random stuff here. Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, some like, um, what is it called? I think it's like Archie's, the comic. Um, then we have Spooky again from On My Block. And then we have uh, My Melody. I'm gonna have a octopus. And then just like random stuff here, this is Miss Murder. Um, I drew Shadow. I think this is when I started, this is like, no, school student had, this is when I started, okay. Sorry y'all, I don't know what's happening. Lana Del Rey. Um, more Lana. This is when I was listening to Lana Del Rey a lot. I'm like stumbling on my words. I was watching the second season of Clone High. This is when I saw the Barbie movie. I loved the Barbie movie, y'all. It was so good. Okay. Um, some more stuff here. And then we have the end of the sketchbook. This one was really fun to work in, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the next sketchbook, Sketchbook 10. Also made this one during the summer, I'm pretty sure. No, I think I had this during school, but look, this is like before school started, but um, basically, um, Nana stickers. Um, this is me at the time, 16, my favorite song, my favorite color and everything. Um, here we have Yasu from Nana. Um, some like food studies. I actually remember that this was like a very, I didn't like working in the sketchbook, like I hated it. I hated working in the sketchbook because I did, didn't like it at all. Like I thought it was so, like the pages were so cheap and like it was just really uncomfortable to work in. What even is that? Okay, anyways. Jeff the Killer. Um, Light Yagami. I mean, <laughs> L from Death Note. Oh my goodness. Beast Boy. Um, Jeff the Killer. Rarity from My Little Pony, y'all. Um, we have this. Very cute, very cute. Um, this girl. Or, bye. What am I even saying? Um, Nail Polish. This is from, um... Vagabond. Some interesting stuff here. Um, we have Ibuki Miyota. Um, we have Bill Kalitz. And his face literally like th broke the page because of how cheap the page is. Like I literally had to staple two pages together because just because of how thin it was. But like at the same time, like I should have just gotten a mixed media sketchbook. Like if you're a mixed media sketchbook, don't get sketchbooks that are for sketching. That's like a big thing. This is Rhea Kahlo, because this is when I was watching um, Clone High. Um, more Clone High stuff. Um, this is some, um, like, picture. I was, like, listening to Odatari. Um, and then I made a video of, like, turning, like... This is not... Okay, this one's not that good. I'm gonna be honest. But I like the Hello Kitty one. I think that one's cute. Um, that I drew, like, a goddess, because I had, like, an infatuation with goddesses at this time. Um, we have Margaret Robbie from the Barbie movie, and then Big Man. And we have um, Cleopatra. And then we have some more studies here, Hatsune Miku. Always been a big Hatsune Miku fan. Um, TNT Creeper. Um, this was a, par a portrait of myself. And then I ripped out the rest of the pages like I did in my other ones, because I actually dreaded working in the sketchbook. I did not like it, but this is the end page. Yeah, did not like this one, um, but I did have fun decorating it. So let's go on to the next one.
Okay, here we have this sketchbook. I think this was like my 11th sketchbook. Um, but basically, oh my goodness. We have a bunch of Sailor Moon stickers and stuff. I think this is when I got back into school. Yeah, I was definitely in school at this time. Is this even the corresponding sketchbook? Like, how could this be the corresponding sketchbook? Like, I don't believe it. Anyways, um, so, Nicki Minaj, Melanie Martinez. This is actually so odd. Like, why is, um, no, I think this is definitely like the corresponding sketchbook. Um, I drew myself as a Sailor, as a Sailor Moon Scout because my name is Sailor Y2K. Um, I drew myself as a Brad doll. Um, I made another OC here. Like a singer OC. <clears throat> to make anime stuff. Tried to make it colorful. I drew these in pre-calculus class. Um, there's this um, Alexa Demi from Euphoria. I'm so silly, guys. Um, I drew this on my 17th birthday. This was really cute. So, 17. I, sh I don't know why I deleted those videos. Um, this is Tyler the Creator and Kali Uchis. I don't know why I deleted some of my old videos. Like I had a lot of old videos that I deleted on here. A girl with her third eye. Um, this is for art purposes, y'all. Um, Kanye West, this girl with purple hair. This is like, this was like everywhere at the time. I don't know why. Um, and then we drew Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, no, no, another girl with her third eye. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog, but like realistic and it kind of transferred onto the next page. We have Zoro from One Piece and then we have Kanye West. Um, and then we have here some more stuff, y'all. It's like really random. We have this Halloween girl. Um, some like interesting things we have going on. This is XXX Tentacion. Um, I started listening to him again during this time. A girl with pie, because this is like during fall season. Like autumn, yeah, very fun. Um, this is so cute, I actually love this. But um, then uh, this is stuff that I drew in my school notebooks. And I put it into my sketchbook. Um, a girl, a cat with its third eye. I don't know what my infatuation with third eyes was here. This is so pretty. Like this is actually so pretty. Like I love that. Um, and then we have this like guy I found on Instagram, and I was like, that is like, I need to draw that. Um, then we drew a Giga Chad because I think it's interesting. This is for a thumbnail YouTube. Um, two girly girls, um, a Care Bear for Halloween. And then a girl, I like a swan. I don't know why I keep calling things girls. Okay. Um, then some like things here. Um, and then we have this. And um, we have Rouge the Bat. And then this is really cute. This is a jacket. I don't, I really don't know what to say to y'all. This is actually not my original drawing. This is copied, um, but it's still really good. Um, this is one, oh my gosh, the Fiona and Cake. Adventure Time, and then this rabbit. Oh, this was Victoria's Secret. Oh, when I started watching all the Victoria's Secret stuff, and then we have Tom Kalitz. This was such a fun time. Like, oh my goodness, like this was like a fun little time. Um, and then here we have the end, and then what does this even say? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then this was from my homecoming, y'all that I won, by the way. <laughs> and, but yeah, that's the end. So that's the end of this sketchbook, y'all. On to the next. Okay, so this is a big, huge sketchbook. Um, I put like a sparkly color and these flowers. Okay, this is gonna mess up my lamp. So we're gonna have to just do this. We're gonna do that with the lamp. Um, okay, so here we have, oh, the lighting's kind of off. Okay, there, that's fine. So here we have some gemstones. Um, art goals, improve coloring, practice, and then my goals, which I achieved. Um, and then we have this Victoria's Secret supermodel. I really loved Victoria's Secret during this time. And then this, um, a lion, this fairy girl. This was a nice sketchbook. Like this was a good sketchbook. Like I drew good things in here. I really like this one. I liked how much I did realism. Um, I think it's really cool. This whole, like, video, I've been just, like, skipping through everything really fast. But, you know, I don't want it to be, like, 10 hours long, you know. We have this girl. Um, I feel like this sketchbook, I had lots of more realism than my other sketchbooks. And I really think that's cool. Um, this girl, 
She's like, everyone draws her. Everyone's always drawing that girl. Um, this girl with like moon water. Um, yin and yang. I thought that was cool. This anime. Um, anatomy practice. I actually, fun fact, I practiced two hours doing this. Um, practicing male anatomy because again, I don't draw males that much. I just draw girls. Um, this Jasmine when I watched Aladdin. Um, a crying baby. And I was trying to like get the proportions in like a page. Um, Aurora. This is random stuff that I cut out. A fairy. Um, this is from a trend. I thought it was funny. Um, angel girl. A fairy girl. Um, apple bloom and rarity. Equestria girls. Um, Jasmine from Aladdin. Self portrait. Um, it looks kind of wonky though because I didn't do it right. Um, but then we have Monster High stage. Um, I'm just gonna flip through y'all, like, and I'll just talk about this time. This time was very fun. I made lots of content during this time, lots of YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna edit that out. But lots of um, YouTube videos that I made, um, and I also got these Christmas. Um, this is really good. I got these markers for Christmas, and I was using them here. Um, so this was Christmas time. I remember specifically because of the markers. Um, I drew so much. I, I drew on Lima because I love Adriana Lima. My old OC. This is really cool. Some like drawings here. That's this is really cool. This is actually not my original piece. It's from Pinterest, but it's so good. Like oh my goodness, like it's actually so amazing. Um, but yeah, this is a TikToker. Um, some more things here. Prince Celestia. And then the end. Oh my goodness. And then the Draculaura, it looks kind of goofy, it looks like a costume, but there we go. Last page. That is sketchbook 11 or 12? No, this is sketchbook 12. All right, let's on to the next. This is the last sketchbook that I'm gonna go through in today's video. I do have another one, but I, I'm not going through my um, in progress sketchbook. Um, meet the artist, Tokidoki. I'm kind of, um, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm trying to just get through this as quick as possible, but this is one of my best sketchbooks. I feel like my latest sketchbooks are always the best. This one's really good. I post this on Instagram. Follow me there. Taylor White 2K, everything is in the description. Um, this one is also on my Instagram. Um, yeah, I also made lots of content here. Um, this is... I did like lots of food studies and different portrait studies because I got markers. And I feel like the more arts, the more neat art supplies I get, the more I want to draw. So um, we have food studies because it's really good and really helpful. Food studies are good because it helps you like know where to place the gloss and the shade. If you're drawing something. I made another OC. Um, these are for videos. I might make more videos like that. Honestly, like I'm, I need to make more videos. My characters. Some OCs I made. This is Griffith from um, Berserk. My OCs, Warren High School Host Club, Random Anime, um, Light Yagami, Legs, Comic, Penny Stocking, and then this is Death the Kid and Sailor Moon. Um, arm, arm, arm. This is really good. I like this one. This is a doll. Um, this is like kind of like a speed run. This is La Lupsi. Draculaura, Sonic the Hedgehog, um, some studies. This one's really good. I like this one. Um, Sonic and Shadow, some cute little doodles, um, some realism here. This is certainly, oh, Valentine's Day. I remember when I made all of these, like all of these I specifically remember. Like, I don't know if anybody else who's an artist, when they go through their sketchbooks, they'll be like, oh yeah, like, you know, I remember this, but like, I actually like have such vivid memories whenever I see these old drawings. Like I can see, like I see the drawing and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I exactly remember that time. But yeah, again, just speed running through the, this was really cute. Um, Sonic, I mean, yeah, Sonic characters, Amy Rose and, 
Um, Rouge the Bat as Magical Girl Zoto. Um, Queen Chrysalis. Jo uh, Junko and Oshima. I almost said Jojo Siwa because she's like popular right now. One Piece. Um, these are filmed for like some TikToks. Studies, y'all. I'm just gonna speed speed flip through because oh, I actually don't know what to say actually. Like I'm just gonna. I'm, I'll let the art speak for itself. Some anatomy studies that took me a while. Like I randomly get the urge to draw a lot. This is like this looks like an uh, alien. She doesn't have no eyebrows. Um, hair studies, anime studies. Um, this is when I started watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. Okay, this, I made this with nail polish. Um, and this is Light Yagami again. And then, and then the end, y'all. This is the sketchbook and I finished it in like uh, three months. Exactly like around three months. So that's the end of the sketchbook and that's the end of this video. If you made it this far, please comment. Thank you so much for sticking through all of this. Um, I do have another sketchbook in the works, but I'm not going to do a sketchbook tour until I'm completely finished. But yes, y'all, that was my all of my high school sketchbooks in one video, or my completed ones at least.